All right, so we're back with part two of our chef's plate review. Uh, and Joe, how did you enjoy last week's recipe? Yeah, it was good. These rock mayo carried it though. Yeah, I thought so too. It was very fresh though. This week we have harissa spiced chickpeas. Uh, so we're gonna try this one out and see how it goes. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to drain and dry our chickpeas. Now we're going to make a paste with the harissa spice and a tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to cut the bell pepper that they provided us. Now we add our chickpeas and our peppers to the harissa spice and mix. Okay, so now we're going to add our chickpeas and peppers to a parchment lined baking sheet. So we're going to save this bowl for later. In go our vegetables. So now we're going to bring a cup and a half of water and a little bit of salt to a boil. Now we finally cut our scallions. We are going to have our cherry tomatoes. And we mince our garlic. Okay, now our chickpeas and peppers are done. For the second part of our recipe, we're going to be roasting some feta, uh, basically using the same harissa spice that we were before, just a little bit more oil. We're gonna put that in and get it coated and then put it on the parchment paper and put it into the oven. And in goes the feta. This is our bulgur. Looks like quinoa to me, but looks bulgy enough to me. <laughs> okay, so we're making our sour cream sauce now. Uh, well, tahini sauce. It starts with the sour cream. The lemon zest that I zested is already in this bowl. Fill this up and add tahini. Did you hear the feta? Yeah. Oh wow. Is tahini just like blended nuts? Sesame seeds? I don't know what it is. It is. And in goes the tahini. In goes the garlic. We want some sugar. And a tablespoon of warm water. How was it? It tasted really good, but then there was like a... Uh... Oh, no, that's fine. So to our chickpeas and peppers, we're going to add some lemon juice and some oil. Now we are going to add our bulgur to our chickpeas and peppers. Here our feta should be baked. Mm, that looks good. So now we'll add our cherry tomatoes and our scallions to the bulgur and chickpea and peppers. Okay, so we did it. We have our harissa spice chickpeas. It looks very fresh. The uh, ingredients were really nice, although <laughs> the instructions were not that fun to go through, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to give it a try now. This feta is so melty, uh, but still a little bit firm. And the tahini sauce smells really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, that was actually really good. All right, so after making two chef's plates meals in a row, I gotta say it was a fun experience and it did uh, get me to try something new. I did like the recipes. The ingredients were fresh enough. I would give it like a six out of 10. I actually wouldn't do it myself. 
It was a really good deal, 13 bucks for four servings. I would only recommend it if you are, you know, running low on time or you, you just can't do groceries or, or if you really just don't like to cook. Well, in that case, you can always order, right? So, six out of 10. All right, thanks everyone for watching another one of our videos. Uh, this was an interesting uh, two-parter and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, give us a like and a subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye.